What's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make a simple night hit game in Scratch. But this is a series, so this is going to be part 1. And we're just going to be looking at how to make the log and the knife spin, and how to make the knife hit the log, and it will stop. So yeah, that's part 1, and without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Started. All right, so I've created a new project. As you can see, I named it Knife Hit, and we're going to simply delete this sprite, and we're going to create a new sprite, which we will call Log. So I have a costume from my backpack. And this is the log that I have, and we'll simply name it log. And all we're going to do is just make this smaller, because right now it's a little bit too big. That size seems good enough. And we're going to start off by dragging a green flag. So we're going to go to motion and drag a go to x0, y0, so that it's in the center of the screen. So we want this to turn around and around um forever basically so let's drag a forever loop and we're going to go to motion and drag a turn 15 degrees so this might be a little bit too fast so i'm going to make it five instead so that, as you can see it's spinning slowly which is exactly what we want all right next we need to make the the knife so that when we click it hits the um log so let's create a new sprite and we're going to call this Sprite Knife. And I have a costume for my backpack. It's a knife costume. And we are going to delete costume 1. And put this in the center like that. So we want this to be right around here. So that is X will be 0. And then Y negative 130. So right there is the perfect position. Actually, I'm going to make it negative 140. Alright, that looks good. So we wanted to make it so that when um, I click, the, the knife shoots out and hits the log. And then the log stops um, turning. So we're going to go to control and drag forever loop and an if statement. Next, we're going to scroll down to sensing, drag a mouse down. And if mouse down, we're going to simply wait until not mouse down. So let's duplicate that. And we're going to go to control and drag a repeat until loop. And we're going to scroll down to sensing and drag a touching lock. Next, we're going to go to motion and drag a, a um, change y by 10. Let's see how that looks. Okay, maybe we need to make it a little bit faster. 20. Alright, that looks fine. And we want it to go behind. So let's go to back layer. So that it looks like it's stabbed into the log. So we want the log to stop moving. So we're going to drag an if statement. And we're going to simply check if the log is touching the knife and if it is it's going to stop so we are going to drag a stop this script um, double click the green flag and we got a nice game I guess well not a game yet but it looks like that alright so next we need to make the other knives. So we're going to make that by creating a new sprite. And I have a costume from my backpack and it's called knife level one. So this is level one where the knives are placed. So level, I guess I should call this level two because level one will be no logs, at, no knives placed in. Level two will be knives like I say this. 
and then maybe level three, maybe more light, more knives put put in. Yeah. So yeah, um, we want this to go in the center of the screen like usual. All right, and we want it to go to the back layer. So that it also looks like it's stabbed into the knives or into the log. All right. So we want this to spin at the same speed as the log. So we're just going to just drag this code so that it's the same piece of code. So we have the log and we have the knives. So we can double click the green flag. And when I do that, um, it stops. But it only the knives only stop when the knife is touching the the other knives. I I guess I'll call this sprite other knives. So we want it to stop when the log is stopped because the knives are on the log. So to make that happen, we need to broadcast a message. So we're going to go into log sprite, and before it stops the script going to create a new message what we will call stop knives and click OK so we're going to go into this sprite and drag it when it receives stop knives and we are going to stop um, stop other scripts in sprite so double click the green flag and we have a simple game where we click stop and double click the green flag again, click, and then it stops. So that is part one of the knife hip game. So I'll create part two, and the part two will be we're going to add new levels, a game over screen, and maybe in part three we'll add some apples so that we can hit the apples and we can get more points. All right, but anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Only a small percent of viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe. It's free and you always can change your mind later. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.